Hi guys, so I don't know whether Boris Johnson and the Brexiteers have nothing but contempt for British business or they just treat British citizens as fools and idiots. Now, what am I talking about? Well, let me show you this website. This is a new website set up by the, uh, is part of the UK government website. It's about Brexit. It says here, Brexit new rules are here. New rules apply to things like travel and doing business with Europe. Use the Brexit checker to get a personalized list of actions for you, uh, your business and your family. So this is about, as we're now into the Brexit um, period, we're in Brexit era, many businesses and individuals need to be prepared if they want to do business abroad or if they want to travel abroad. Of course, because there are new restrictions because the UK is now a third country. Um, there's also a video with this. I want to show you the video. It says here also, keep your business, keep your business moving. Doing business with Europe has changed. You need to follow new rules on exports, imports, tariffs, data and hiring. And I'll show you the video. Businesses, the UK has left the EU and new rules now apply. To keep your business moving, use the Brexit checker tool on gov.uk slash transition to get personalised actions for your business. Let's keep business moving. So let's keep business moving. And then there's the link to the website. So what's the problem here? You're, you're, I imagine you're asking, Max, you're, why are you saying that Boris Johnson is showing contempt for business? Look, the government are showing uh, businesses what they need to do per to prepare. Um, they're believing in British business. They understand, look, we've left the transition period. Now it's time to uh, deal with the consequences of Brexit. And for UK citizens, there's also information here. Okay, maybe this is trivial, but I think it's not so trivial. This is a, a quote, this is a tweet from Lisa Carl, who is um, a journalist for The Guardian. She says here, government Brexit ad features German model who posed for a German photographer at a German factory. So the young lady we saw before, this lady here, she's not actually British, she's German. And she was photographed by a German photographer and that's not a German, that's not a British factory you see behind you, that's a German factory. A haulier shot from Thailand, so it's, it's beyond the EU, and uh, a builder depot uh, taken from Brazil. So instead of actually using British models, British actors, in British factories, using British <laughs> vehicles, um, the government have decided to use foreigners. Now, I don't know if Boris Johnson is taking the piss here. I don't know whether um, this is all one massive joke. I, I believe that Brexit at the end of the day is a massive joke, but the, the people who are laughing are the likes of Boris Johnson, Nigel Farage, Jacob Rees-Mogg, and the people who are not laughing are the British public and British business because they're paying the consequence, they're paying the price of Brexit. But the idea that the British government would rub British businesses and British people's noses in it by hiring foreigners for a Brexit ad. The, <laughs> the irony is off the scale here. But once again, this is a demonstration that Boris Johnson and his government don't give a crap about business and they certainly don't give a crap about the British public. Maybe I'm exaggerating things. Maybe this is not so serious. Let me know in the comment section, guys. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee, so why not check it out?